There's a country on Earth where it almost never rains, a country that is 90% pure desert, where temperatures hit 50 degrees Celsius and not a single natural river exists anywhere on the map. And yet, this same country built the largest man-made river system in human history, a river so massive it can be seen from space. This unbelievable story begins in Libya. For centuries, Libya was a land of scarcity. No rivers, barely any lakes, and hardly a few centimeters of rainfall a year. Nearly the entire population was forced to live on a thin strip of coast along the Mediterranean because the rest of the country was an endless burning desert. Then, in the 1950s, Libya discovered oil. The economy exploded, cities grew, millions of people suddenly needed clean water. Fast. But desalination was too expensive. Importing water meant depending on other countries, and for Libya, that was never an option. Then came an accident that changed everything. In the middle of the Sahara, engineers were drilling deep into the desert floor searching for more oil. But instead of oil, they hit something no one expected. Water. Not just a small pocket, but a vast underground ocean. Ancient aquifers thousands of kilometers wide, filled with fossil water from the Ice Age. Water that had been hidden underground for 30,000 years. This discovery changed Libya forever. Gaddafi announced the most ambitious water project the world had ever seen. The Great Man-Made River. Imagine this, 4,000 kilometers of giant underground pipes, long enough to stretch from Libya to India, 1,300 deep wells drilled into prehistoric aquifers, massive concrete pipelines wider than a bus, water traveling 6.5 million cubic meters every single day across deserts where nothing should survive. And here's the most shocking part. The entire project, nearly $25 billion, was funded by Libya alone. No loans, no foreign investors, no outside help. Just a desert country building a river where nature refused to give them one. Some experts call it the eighth wonder of the world. Others say it's the greatest engineering project ever attempted in a desert. But the truth is simple. Libya did what no other nation had ever dared to do. They created life in a place built for nothing but sand. They turned the desert into farmland. They brought water to cities that were drying out, and they proved that even in one of the harshest environments on Earth, humans can rewrite the rules of nature. So now tell me in the comments, what do you think? Is this the greatest engineering miracle ever built? Or is it a warning that even ancient water won't last forever?